So let's now try joining a client to the domain. Before we do that, we'll open up Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. And inside our domain listing, we will see no computers are being shown. So if we now bring in our client, it will boot up and take its configuration from DHCP. We can check the configuration if we launch a command window. And we we'll do an IP config forward slash all. And what we're checking for is the IP address is valid. It is at 10. And it is pointing to our server for its DNS, which it is. At this moment, if we go back to our server, and have a look at DHCP, we should find a lease has been provided to this machine. And there it is. So back on the client, to join a domain, right click computer properties. And once again, the computer's name needs to be changed. So there we go, we'll go to change and we'll choose domain and we'll type in our domain name. Anyone can join a machine to a domain but as we've no users we'll use administrator and the password the machine will welcome us to the domain and as with most things windows based will require a reboot well the client is rebooting if we look at Active Directory Users Computers, we should find the client PC appearing on the list of installed computers.